Hi, this is Matteo, and we have a major update of WordLift. We have a new feature you need to hear about because it simplifies and automates your SEO like never before. We release version 3.32, and what we support right now is to automatically augment your website through categories and tags. So if you're familiar with WordPress, you're already using tags and you have a list of tags on your website. So this, this is some tags that I've added to, uh, to my website to, to demonstrate. And for instance, I have a tag that is World Cup and I would like to add it to this uh, article here uh, about the World Cup. Now, what happens right now is that uh, if I add this tag, it's not gonna be recognized by, by WordLift. So on WordLift right now here, I have tagged just a couple of entities, presentation and sales. What if I want to tag uh, World Cup, but I don't want to do it from the content classification. I want to do it from the tags. So what I can do is I can edit this tag that I have on the website. I can make sure that this is a thing and I mark thing. Then I add a short description. Um, in this case, World Cup. Um, then what I can do is I can add a website to make sure that Google understands even better what this uh, tag is about. And for instance, this is the official FIFA Tournaments World Cup website. And then I can add a same as. And so here I can go to World Cup. We are querying the, uh, the data cloud and we get here a number of results. And actually what we want is this one, FIFA World Cup. So now I've created all of these, uh, all of this information just inside my tag. What I need to do is to update this tag. This tag is now getting saved. And what I can do is I don't need to use the content classification pane of WordLift. I can even just add this as a tag here, World Cup, right? I can add this tag here. I just need to update this article and then I can go into the rich results tool. Now the rich result tool already told me that this article is about presentations and about uh, sales, which are the entities that are in the content classification. But right now we have, uh, we have updated this with the tag. And so what we can expect here, if we do a little bit of cash busting here, we can expect WordLift to have added a mention of World Cup. So this means that every article that has the tag World Cup, now it's already connected to a tag that has smart features in it and it's better recognizable for Google and Bing. But moreover, every single article is connected to each other and so you have uh, this possibility for Google to understand that all of these articles are connected to each other. Plus, you have even inside the single article, the fact that right now I'm not just mentioning uh, presentations, I'm not just mentioning the organization where this article is coming from. So you, you see the thing presentation, here you see uh, the uh, thing sales, and then we scroll over, we see the thing World Cup. And so a tag is treated in the same way as an entity that is recognized in the content classification box. And this is valid on uh, WordPress uh, if you want to uh, do it with tags or you can also do it with categories. This is a major up upgrade to a uh, WordLift because right now you don't need to change anything on your website. You just need to add WordLift. And if you have been using tags and categories, you just need to curate these tags and categories and your website will be automatically optimized for semantic SEO. Thank you so much for watching.